Hello, everybody. I'm Keith Jerome. October 13th is Herpes Awareness Day. As many of you know, uh, I'm a professor at the Fred Hutch in Seattle, and my laboratory is working toward a cure for herpes simplex virus infections. And so I wanted to take today, Herpes Awareness Day, uh, and just give you a quick update on our work, as well as an uh, update on the broader field of HSV and its cure. Before I start, I have to thank so many of you have supported our work in a variety of ways. Uh, some have contributed financially, others have, have been advocating for our work and, and just encouraging us. And so whatever you've done, thank you very much. Uh, to start with our own work, um, you may know that we've previously used a thing called gene editing to go in and actually find the virus where it lies dormant or hiding within nerves in the body. And actually we can destroy it there. So not just control the virus, but actually get rid of, of most of it, uh, the great majority in fact. Um, and, and we showed that not only do we reduce that, but that reduces the amount of virus that can then wake up and come out. And, and, and we call that shedding. Uh, at the surface of the body. Um, we've expanded that model over the last year with some of your support and shown that doing that also reduces the number of clinical recurrences and lesions uh, in the model systems, as well as their severity. So uh, clearly reducing the viral load with this gene editing really helps with symptoms uh, and just clinical disease. We're very excited about that. We've also done a lot of work to really focus our therapy on the cells where HSV lives um, and really minimize the amount that kind of gets wasted going elsewhere in the body. So this has attracted the attention of NIH. Uh, we're very excited about that. We've uh, reached an agreement with them. That's the Federal uh, Research Institute um, to test our therapy uh, in their facilities, um, which is great. It's a wonderful laboratory we'll be working with. And as we move forward into getting regulatory approval for a human clinical trial, showing that our therapy works when somebody else does it, not just in our lab, but others, is really going to help with that process. In terms of the broader field, I think there's a lot of excitement, things that are relevant to cure. Um, there are some human trials and vaccines, uh, mostly to prevent new infections, but also may have some benefit for people living with the virus. Um, there are some clinical trials for uh, gene editing for herpes keratitis. That's the uh, eye complications that some people get. So if you're interested in stuff like this, go to clinicaltrials.gov and you can um, read about uh, different clinical trials for different things. You need to do a search for HSV or herpes, uh, but you can find things you might be interested in there. Um, there was an NIH meeting on all things about herpes, so diagnosis, prevention, treatment, cure. It was wonderful to hear uh, the NIH folks talking about cure, but I will say there is still not a concerted effort toward HSV cure, a field-wide effort like there is for HIV or hepatitis. So you got to get out there, you got to advocate for that, you got to tell folks in the government that this is a priority uh, for so many of us. Uh, we need more people in the field. Can't just be my lab and just a few others. It needs to be a lot of folks. So just to wrap up, um, there's progress, there's hope, there's lots of people working hard in labs trying to create a cure, but there's more to be done. It's going to take more work um, and we can do that together. So um, our folks are working hard. You guys are working hard. Thank you so much for everything you've done and everything you're going to do uh, going forward. Uh, and let's bring a cure uh, to uh, herpes simplex virus infections. Take care.